Systemic mastocytosis is a really rare disease. It has both indolent um, and advanced subtypes. And especially with the indolent disease, um, we, there's really no effective therapy to date. But avapritinib has recently been shown to be effective in patients with more advanced disease. And also on the Pioneer, uh, which is a placebo-controlled um, uh, double-blind um, trial, we've shown that patients with indolent disease um, and skin lesions actually have a decrease in their skin lesions, um, including um, um, both uh, uh, visually and also using more advanced um, digital imagery, I guess it should say. So on these patients, we also took skin biopsies from them, both before and after therapy in patients who were treated with avapritinib in the, in the treated arm, as well as control patients who received a placebo. And then we looked at those skin biopsies for numbers of mast cells, as well as the immunophenotype of mast cells. And so this is pretty exciting because um, this is new data to date. And what we found is that the drug avapritinib showed a marked reduction in mast cells, and that's a best seen in the skin biopsies. And it also changed the immunophenotype. So in patients who had le lesions from mastocytosis, the number of mast cells went away, and the number of aberrant mast cells is marked by CD25 or CD30 also de significantly um, decreased. So that's pretty exciting. It, it's interesting. We also have had bone marrow biopsies on these patients, and we could see that the um, immunophenotype of the mast cells in bone marrow differed from the skin. And so in bone marrow, we tend to have more expression of CD25 as a marker of aberrancy, but in the skin uh, biopsies of the lesions, we actually saw a more expression of CD30 which is interesting, rather than um, CD25. Um, and so, and this is very different uh, from the bone marrow, also of non-lesional skin. So these findings um, confirm the results of previous studies that have shown that aberrant mast cells are present in skin in both lesional tissue and non-lesional tissue. Um, in patients with indolent systemic mastocytosis. I told you that the mast cell immunophenotype um, in skin lesions from these patients differs from the bone marrow, which is interesting. Um, we previously showed that avapritinib reduced signs and symptoms and mast cell burden in patients with indolent systemic mastocytosis. And we're now showing that avapritinib significantly reduces the to total mast cell burden, as well as um, abnormal CD30 positive mast cells and skin lesions from these patients. And also interestingly is um, CD30 seemed to be a better marker for these neoplastic mast cells in skin compared to CD25, suggesting that this might be a better biomarker um, in these patients.